happy St. Patrick's Day! I'm sitting out here on my back deck and the birds are chirping and the weather is just so nice and I have my green shirt on and I wanted to talk to you guys about social studies today. So yesterday, if you'll remember, we talked about Abraham Lincoln. We're talking about important people in the Civil War as we get ready to learn about those battles. And so we talked about Abraham Lincoln, how he was... Um, raised in a log cabin on a small rural farm in Indiana and he taught himself everything he needed to learn and you know I love that that like teach yourself how to be in your profession and that motivation to learn and so he became a lawyer and then a congressperson he went on to become president he was that first anti-slavery president and when he got voted uh, president the south decided it was time to leave or secede right and that's when they started their own country <clears throat> And so today, we're going to talk about, and I'm going to try to do this all week, the counter person, meaning the opposite of each person. So we talked about Abraham Lincoln was in charge of the United States in the North. So today, we are going to talk about Jefferson Davis, and he was in charge of the South, the part that removed themselves. Um... And what I want you to do, if you haven't already, is go into content, that thing at the top, just like you did yesterday, and I want you to pull up the day two PowerPoint, because I'm going to be referring to that. I'm going to tell you when to click through it, just like yesterday. Um, and then you're going to have a reading and some questions to do independently about Jefferson Davis, and you can put those in your Google Doc, the answers, if you want to, um, so that it's all together, just like yesterday. So go ahead, pause the video, go get your content open so that you can follow along with me. All right, and we are going to get started. So we are talking about Jefferson Davis. We're on day two, and we are on slide number two. So when the southern states left, that word is seceded. You'll see that on quest test questions, to leave. Um, and they couldn't obviously pick up their states and leave. But they said, we are no longer part of the United States, and that's called they seceded. They left. They formed their own national government. They said they were not part of the United States anymore. And they became the Confederacy of United States, the Confederacy of Southern States, sorry. And their president was Jefferson Davis. And this is a picture of him here on slide two. So I wanted to give you a little bit of background about him. So let's click on slide three now. Jefferson Davis was born in 1808 in Kentucky, which is a Southern state. He was one of 10 children. So he was born to a really big family in the state of Kentucky go to slide number four. He graduated from school and he joined the military and he fought for six years in the United States military. Now he went to the same school that um, all, mostly all of the people we are talking about today went to. It's called West Point Academy and it's a school that anybody that was going to the military would go there um, and learn how to be a military person. And so he went to the same school. And it's kind of cool because all of these guys that we are going to learn about this week knew each other from being at West Point, or at least knew of each other. So he, too, went to West Point. And he graduated from there as a teenager. All right, let's go to slide five. He owned a large plantation in Mississippi. A plantation is a really large house. Lots of farming land, um, tons of slaves. It's in the south, um, and it kind of just is its own little community. And he owned a plantation. Here's a picture of it here. And he owned over 113 slaves on his plantation. Um, so his life was supported by slavery. And so let's go to slide number six. When the southern states were talking about seceding or leaving the United States, Jefferson Davis was actually against it. Although he wanted slavery, he thought that leaving the United States was a really bad idea. And so I put this really cool political cartoon here. You know I love political cartoons. So in this picture, it's called the Secession Wagon. They call him Jeff Davis on here. So at the bottom it says, my wagon is kind of caving in. I'm afraid that Uncle Abe will catch me before I get far with these goods. And so if you notice, there's a wheel missing. The horse looks kind of beat up in this picture. There's Jeff and Davis riding on there. And Uncle Abe, of course, is 
Abraham Lincoln, right. So he's worried that he's not going to be able to get away with his wagon. And if you look what is on this wagon, it's Georgia, Virginia, Mississippi, South Carolina, Florida, it's all the southern states. So you can see he doesn't want to get away. He thinks that wagon is not going to make it. Obviously, they didn't put the states in a wagon, but this is a political cartoon where the author, the artist, is saying there's no way that this is going to work out well. And so he was trying to sway people, you know, political cartoons sway people to their way of thinking. All right, let's go to slide seven. <clears throat> This is a picture of Jefferson Davis. Again, he's getting a little older. He was in charge of the Southern States, also known as, a.k.a. the Confederates. However, many people blame him for the Southern States losing the war. He was the president, after all. And um, people have viewpoints on him being president. So go to this last slide, slide number eight. This is Jefferson Davis on the left and Abraham Lincoln on the right. Um, they say that Jefferson Davis was unwilling to let others help him, that he fought with the powerful Southern state governors and leaders, and he favored his old friends. He wanted to do what his old friends said, not what the people in charge said in the South, and he had a really hard time getting along with people who disagreed with him. And so there was a lot of issues going on in the Confederacy, and Abe Lincoln on the right just had it all together. Remember, we talked about that yesterday, and so... Without any of the fighting, these two leaders are super different, and we could easily compare and contrast them um, with a Venn diagram, but we're not. Today, we're just going to focus on Jefferson Davis. So now, from here, you are going to go back to the Digital Learning Day section under Social Studies, and you are going to see the reading and the questions, and you are going to do that. And I am so excited to see you tomorrow. Hope you liked this video. Take care, guys. Bye.